What's going on? Welcome to ednews.com. Today we're going to talk about loan forgiveness for some specific bar borrowers who were defrauded by for-profit institutions. Now, on End News, we always talk about will there ever be canceled student debt for the average American, right? The Biden administration had this as a part of their campaign, $10,000 for, for all people who have college debt. And some people are fighting for $50,000, some people are providing for canceling debt, right? And we here at Ed News, we're just here to track the story and the latest on what's going on. And the latest today is that there is loan forgiveness happening. Uh, for those who are being um, dealing with predatorial situations uh, by going to for-profit institutions that were selling um, claims that weren't true, uh, going bankrupt and people being left with the bill uh, and pitting money in institutions that were no longer there. So... This is starting with adding 107,000 people getting up to $2 billion of, of, of college debt canceled. And so on Wednesday, uh, it got up to 107,000 because they added another 16,000 uh, people. And so let's go ahead and look at which university specific. And I just want to say like, you know, this is just, uh, to me, a good step in the right direction if we're going to be looking at this conversation. You know, why don't we focus in on the people who got impacted and, you know, so sold a promise that wasn't true. Um, so let's go ahead and look at it. So what you have here is $415 million was added to um, the lo loan cancellation program. Um, DeVry University, ITT Tech Institute, Minnesota School of Business, um, but here's the thing. I'm actually going to go to a CBS article because I feel like they broke it down a little easier here. Um, 18,000 students from DeVry. You had another 16,000 students from Westwood. This was an example of um, they falsely reporting that their graduates have higher rates of graduation and getting salaries of $50,000 or more, which wasn't true. And uh, so 1,600 borrowers. ITT Technical Institute had 130 students. But here's the thing. Most of the students came from, right, those franchise, for-profit, career techs like these beauty schools. 11,900 former students who attended Corinthian Colleges and Marinella School of Beauty will receive $284.5 million in discharges from the education department. Um, so that is where we are today. $2 billion are going to be forgiven to 107,000 people who went to for-profit institutions that sold them a fake dream. So this is where we are. If you're interested in where we are with canceling student debt, loan forgiveness, and, and what could possibly happen with the Biden administration and future plans, if you have college debt, if that's something that's important to you to know where we're going, um, make sure you follow and subscribe at ednews.com because this is a topic we stay on when anything new is, is discussed around loan forgiveness and canceling student debt. Thank you so much. Have a good day. If you like this, hit the like button and I will see you on the next video.